everything inside me. Crypto, the new currency, or the new tulip. Tulip mania, a period in the 17th century, when prices of tulips in the Netherlands reached astronomical highs, is considered the first financial bubble. After tulips became so expensive that the cost of a single bulb exceeded that of an average home, the price collapsed, and many investors went bankrupt. Tulip mania reflects the general cycle of a bubble, from the irrational biases and group mentalities that push prices of an asset to an unsustainable level, to the eventual collapse of those inflated prices. Understanding tulip mania, its model for the general cycle of a financial bubble like Bitcoin. Investors lose track of rational expectations, psychological biases lead to a massive upswing in the price of an asset or sector, a positive feedback cycle continues to inflate prices. Behaving like a dot-com stock, Bitcoin tumbled for a fifth straight day, putting the largest cryptocurrency on track for its worst month in more than three years, and leading a full-flown retreat from digital asset markets. Sound familiar? Classic mania bubble. You know it is near the end, and of course, all the sheeple will get led to huge losses. Some things repeat with such predictable outcomes. Investors realize that they are merely holding a tulip, or a bitcoin, that they speculated on. Prices collapse due to a massive sell-off, and many go bankrupt. A similar cycle was witnessed during the dot-com bubble of the early 2000s, and housing bubble that preceded the global financial crisis of 2008. It was said that Bitcoin has soared to approximately 30% year-to-date, at around 300% in the last 12 months. Bitcoin is on a race to zero. Hopefully all you guys diversified into some gold. Silver is still the cheapest thing out there. Bitcoin isn't money. It's a worthless speculative asset with zero backings of anything or anyone. Its intrinsic value still equals zero. Bitcoin, my friends, is at the end of the day, just a tulip. It was a con, plain and simple. But hey, a lot of people made a lot of coin on it while it lasted. Bernie Madoff was an amateur by comparison. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Warren Buffett is right. It won't end well. Coin made out of air, will disappear in the air. How many cliffs does it take to get a Bitcoin holder to sell? We're about to see one of the most incredible short squeeze potentials ever seen. Bitcoin is a hustle. It is not a store of wealth, it is not an inflation hedge, it really isn't an asset either. It is a hustle. It is electronic digits put on a ledger by miners in China. You don't buy and hold, you buy, hustle, sell for a profit. Bitcoin, the biggest and best known cryptocurrency, had already been under pressure from a series of tweets from Tesla boss Elon Musk, but the news from China sent it as low as $37,514 for a 9% fall. The volatility and the current drop in price below $40,000 will likely trigger a stampede to the exits of all cryptocurrency by those speculators who joined the game late and were expecting a quick profit. Bitcoin is not a store of wealth, it isn't an inflation hedge, it isn't even an asset. It is a hustle. Don't try to catch the falling knife. Get out of the way and look to hustle back in when it goes under 10k. So, most mining is happening in Asia. They created the coin, it increased value, and then sold it to Americans. We witnessed one of the greatest foreign steals of all time here. I'd love to see how many people in China sold, and all those in the Western world holding the bag. This is what happens when you put money into a Ponzi scheme, and the worst is yet to come. What is China's main goal, that is to bankrupt the United States and its people? While their people and their country are stashing away gold and silver, our country fiddles around with a digital illusion. The reason of the drop is due to CCP banning Bitcoin trading in China soon, which disallow their citizen to transfer their assets overseas using these anonymous shadow channel. 
All I can say is, the idiots are the ones still buying at this point. Is zero in the cards over time, as the sheeples get sucked in as always. What real value does a Bitcoin actually have other than a greater fool buying from a lesser fool? Gold is real. It is used, is tangible, and will always have value. Can you say that for Bitcoin? One of those days snowflakes are learning there isn't a free lunch. People are blaming Elon for this price drop, but did you ever stop to consider that if the asset can't stand up to a tweet, then it isn't an asset at all? Stop being mad at Elon. You only have yourselves to blame. Here's why this doesn't work. Tesla sells a $120,000 Model X for 2 Bitcoin. The Bitcoin crashes to $20,000, and now that same Model X was sold for only $40,000. In order for Tesla to be hedged from those type of losses, they will need to a. immediately sell the Bitcoin the moment the Model X is sold, or b. use some short derivative of Bitcoin to hedge again a drop in value of Bitcoin. So then Tesla would need to register as a broker-dealer just to accept Bitcoin. The risk is just too high. Bitcoin is for traders and black market operatives. Period. How could a currency, that runs at 5 transactions per second, be good for anything other than speculation? When the momentum is gone, the crash comes as everybody runs for the exit. The house always wins. Run it up, short it. Sell to the FOMOs, run it up, short it, sell to the FOMOs. I am surprised someone still wants to buy Bitcoins. These idiots will never learn. There is no store of value in Bitcoin. If there was, it wouldn't have crashed from 60k to now heading for 30k in a few weeks. And what scarcity. They are just digital code. Who is stopping the person or organization who the limit to 21 million coins from increasing it to 100 million coins or 200 million coins? Just wait for the margin calls to work their way through this garbage. Gonna be cutting a couple zeros off the end. There's more crypto coins than commodities, heck even elements, that's why 99% are going to zero. Hey, let me buy an asset that just went down 50% overnight. Great idea. Such a solid asset, an ideal store of wealth that has lost 50% in a month. What a joke, I can't believe anyone ever thought this was a good idea. No one. Nobody is ever going to trust this idea ever again. The whole thing is the best human comedy I have witnessed in my life. Well other than the 2008 mortgage crisis also built on total BS. And the worst issue is that cryptos have been around for 10 to 12 years apparently, with cycles of boom and bust. Each cycle apparently captured more new investors looking for a quick profit. Everything is manipulated, that's why you want to own physical gold and silver. It's pure, it's real, it's tangible, it's God's money. Just dump fake cryptocurrencies and buy real gold. Gold, silver, and commodities super cycle just started. The cryptocurrencies collapse just started. Gold is still only world's true currency. Gold is and always will be only world's currency. Gold is always true. Fake cryptocurrencies. It's just fake. I can't believe this junk ever got so big in the first place. It's not like Bitcoin is new either. It's obvious this will never be used as a mainstream form of currency. Friends please dump fake gold cryptocurrencies and buy world's only real currency. Gold and silver. And don't forget Bitcoin pollutes more than the airline industry. Not only that, it's a waste of electricity and computing resources on a creative coder's innovative game. For Mother Earth's sake, Bitcoin must die. $500 billion of market cap has disappeared since yesterday. Bitcoin was never a currency and was never a store of value. It's tulip mania plain and simple, always was. This isn't a correction, this is the real end of Bitcoin, the experiment is concluded, it couldn't be scaled without killing the earth, and therefore it is obsolete. No company will adopt it now, no ETFs will be approved, the coin itself may be outright banned at this point. It's a fake man-made scarcity. It isn't an asset which people actually need, in that it is used to make things. So it is unlike commodities. It doesn't produce income like stocks. Unlike other currencies, it can't be used to buy anything you want. China bans Bitcoin and other companies from transactions on the assets. 
China has banned financial institutions and payment companies from providing services related to cryptocurrency transactions and warned investors against speculative crypto trading. Under the ban, such institutions, including banks and online payments channels, must not offer clients any service involving cryptocurrency, such as registration, trading, clearing and settlement. Bitcoin is unsustainable. The Bitcoin losers are now fighting for the exits. This is the beginning of the end of crypto. After all, you will see that Warren Buffett and I were both right. Bitcoin is a scam, a pyramid scheme with no fundamentals or reason to exist. Sell what you have while it has still value before it goes down to zero. It will go down to zero, its actual value. And if you include the cost of electricity burned by crypto, the value is actually negative. What is the definition of a Ponzi scheme? I think when you look it up in the dictionary, it says Bitcoin. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.